Okay, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you all how to edit your uh, startup with auto runs. Auto runs is essentially like msconfig.exe or task manager whenever you want to edit your startup, but it shows more and you can use it to remove viruses and stuff. It shows usually a lot of hidden stuff in your startup that you won't otherwise be able to get to a regular system tool. So you're going to go ahead and type in download auto runs. Now this is from Microsoft System Internal, so it's legit, it's not a virus, it's not bad, it's, it's legit, it's what you want. Last release was on February 16th, 2022, so I'm going to go ahead and download this here. I'll go ahead and place it on my desktop, we'll save it. Oops. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Okay. No, I did. I did. I guess it just didn't refresh. Okay. So anyway, press F5 for refresh. In case it doesn't refresh, you'll press F5. I'm gonna go ahead and extract this here. I'm gonna double click this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and right click on auto runs that you see. You're gonna want to make sure you have administrative access. So run as administrator. Agree to the license terms. Uh, I don't think any of us read those anyway. So, if you look here, uh, this is going to have all your startup stuff. So, uh, if, what I like to do is, if you notice, uh, you'll have a Chrome install or a lot of our stuff like Damascus has this. I don't want Edge on. I want this on. A lot of this stuff is for auto updating your Chrome and your Edge and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that off. Uh, then we can go ahead and scroll down here. Same thing with this uh, task scheduler. You just, I don't like any of this stuff being automatically done. Uh, and some of this stuff is for startup too. So I don't like it being done. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and uncheck all that. Um, in fact, I don't want any of this stuff on the task scheduler being checked. So I'm unchecking all of it. Uh, that's my looking glass. I obviously want that. Another thing, your Google update, uh, client files for auto updating. You can take those off too. Edge updates. I want none of that crap automatically updating. And they already check a million ways to Sunday, especially when you're going to church, if you want to update or not. So you can just uncheck those. And then, um, you scroll down here. Uh, now, uh, there's my QEMU. I obviously need that. Your container service usually need this for uh, NVIDIA. Uh, there's your maintenance uh, service for Firefox. I don't want that on there. Uh, Chrome elevation service, edge elevation service. I'm going to go ahead and take those off too. Font cache. I don't know what this is. It's going off. Uh, now, when you're on the everything tab, it's just going to show you everything. Then you're going to go ahead and go over to logon. And then... Uh, right here, you check here. So I got my next cloud, my MSSEC host, my battle net, all this stuff here. It's all good to go. Uh, looks pretty to me. Uh, scheduled task. I unchecked all of them. Balloon service. Uh, I'm going to keep that on there. Uh, this looks pretty good. Sense. Uh, spice agent. This looks pretty good for the most part. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and keep keep that off uh adobe type your codexes these are usually your media codexes your image hijack uh if you see anything here besides i export or tear off i took this one off anyway oh oh looks like they made so you can't turn it off anymore uh known dll files you're gonna want to check here too sometimes virus is like two two they like to do a dll injection on your system uh linksoft providers office uh Network providers, and that's pretty much it. That's a rundown of auto runs. So, oh, another one that's you know, your main one you're going to want to be looking at is your services, your services, and your logon. These two are the most important. Oh. One more thing while I'm on it so, if you have WinRAR installed and you have your right click context menu, when you're on Explorer here, uh, those right click context menus are usually going to be right here. So, if you uncheck them, what it's going to go ahead and do when you do a right click on a file. It's probably not going to be there anymore. Uh, I believe it's that tab. It might be another tab. Yeah, but that, sh that should be the tab. Yeah, that's the tab for that. Um, 
Yeah. From what I remember. I could be wrong. Anyway, uh, that's a quick rundown of Otter Runs. If you like the video, like and subscribe.